Hello, my name is Kevin, and in this video I want to give you a brief introduction to both PKP and OJS. The Public Knowledge Project, or PKP, is a nonprofit research, education, and software development project from Stanford University in the United States and Simon Fraser University in Canada. Its mission is to improve the quality of scholarly research and to increase access to the published results of that research. To achieve its goal, the Public Knowledge Project created Open Journal Systems, or OJS, an open source online peer review publication management system. OJS provides a front end website for an online journal, including automatic table of content generation, displaying digitized back issues, automatically generating DOIs, providing web traffic analysis, statistics, RSS feeds, and more. But OJS also provides a back-end management system for running the operations of the journal, including collecting all of the submissions, tracking the editorial workflow, and managing communications. All participants in the journal, such as the editors, reviewers, and the authors, need a free online account available by filling in a simple web form like this one. Authors can then make their submissions online following a quick five-step process. Reviewers can log in and make their reviews online in a few simple steps. Much of the communication between participants is automated with pre-written email messages. Editors no longer need to spend valuable time crafting new email messages for every interaction. Proofreading are all tracked through the system. A complete history is maintained of all actions and communications for each submission, providing a permanent record of the operations of the journal. And of course, the accepted and edited submissions are published as articles in a new issue. Articles can be published in any format, such as in this example, in HTML, PDF, EPUB for ebook readers, and even as MP3s, to play a recording of the article being read. Though our goal is always to increase access to knowledge through open access, it is possible to publish as a completely subscription-based journal. OJS can also allow you to ease into open access through restricting access to your current content and opening access to your back issues. But for maximizing global knowledge sharing, full open access is the ideal, and the option we're happy to see the majority of OJS journals are choosing. In addition to access issues, Knowledge sharing can be enhanced even further with the addition of social media links to OJS, allowing readers to comment and to share articles. OJS can also help journals broaden their knowledge sharing efforts by allowing for a multilingual interface. Some OJS journals support two, three, or even four different languages. Volunteer translators have either completed or are working on over 30 translations of OJS. One of the great successes of OJS is that almost half of all the journals using it are in the developing world. We can often think of global open access giving researchers in the South access to content from the North, but it is equally important to provide Southern researchers with publication tools that help them publish their own research and giving them a voice in the global research community. By using OJS, Southern research is increasingly available internationally. If you'd like to find out more about PKP and OJS, please visit our website at pkp.sfu.ca, where you'll find detailed information on our work, download links to our free software, extensive documentation to help you install and operate the system, and much more.